Hi, it's Lori Ballin, real estate agent in Las Vegas, Nevada, serving Henderson and Boulder City. Today, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to write a real estate listing description. I've been using AI tools for a couple of years now. All of us have just been introduced to ChatGPT as a free, anybody can get it platform now. So real estate agents are now starting to look at how can we use AI tools such as ChatGPT to generate content for our real estate business. So I'm using ChatGPT to create blogs, especially things like comprehensive outlines, creating lists, hyper-local information, real estate market reports, graphics, email funnels, it goes on and on. Cats are making a visit today on our video. So today I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT to create real estate listings. And if this is your first glance at ChatGPT, welcome. You're going to get a good idea for how it works today. And if you guys are in a place where you need a website or you need content marketing, you need pay-per-click, you need help with this stuff, my brothers, remember Jeff and Paul Helvin are at balanbrands.com and this is what they do. So if you need help with your marketing, need a website, talk to Jeff and Paul at balanbrands.com. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go right to sharing my screen and let me just bring myself onto the screen here. All right. I'll try to keep an eye on that to make sure it doesn't cover anything as we go. Now what you're looking at here is you are looking at chat GPT. Now, if you've never seen how this works or don't know what chat GPT is, I'm going to show you the perfect way in a real deal example here. And what we're going to do is we are going to type in what is chat GPT. So now you're seeing how it works in real life. So it says, I am chat GPT, a large language model developed by open AI. I am designed to understand and respond to human language input in a conversational manner. I have been trained on a vast amount of text data using deep learning techniques, allowing me to generate responses that are often relevant and useful. I can assist with a wide range of tasks, including answering questions, providing information, generating text, and more. That's all you need to know for today, because we're going to get right into today's example of how to create a real estate listing description. Keep in mind that what we're doing here is we're having a two-way dialogue with a chat bot. And we're asking it or instructing it to do things for us. The better we get at these instructions, which are called prompts, the better we get at those prompts, the better the output is going to be. So the output is only as good as the input. So get used to learning how to prompt these AI tools and you will go so much farther than everybody else who's just going to learn the basics. Okay. So let's start out by showing you an example of a two-way dialogue so we want to create a real estate listing description so you might say something like create a real estate listing description this is just our first our first round you don't really don't know how to prompt that's what we're going to type in so here's the response sure here's an example real estate listing description so what it did is it gave us a real estate listing description literally, but that isn't obviously what we need for our listing. So we might instead say something like, can you help me create a listing description? Of course, I'd be happy to help you create a listing description. Can you please provide more details about the property you'd like to list, such as the type of property the location, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, any notable features or amenities, and any other information you think would be helpful in creating a listing. So I'm going to say this house is in Boulder City in the Boulder Estates subdivision. It's a single story, three bedrooms with a den, two and a half baths. 2,223 square feet with a pool, shutters, and upgraded appliances, counters, cabinets. 
So you can see I'm kind of just abbreviating the end, kind of like we do when we're typing in a super fast MLS description. This is just the starting point. I want to see what it gives me back. Okay, so let's see what it gives me back. So great, here's a possible listing description for your property. Welcome to your dream home in the desirable Boulder Estate subdivision. This stunning single-story house boasts three bedrooms plus a den, two and a half baths, and 2,223 square feet of luxurious living space. That's perfect. The interior of the home is elegantly designed with high-end finishes featuring beautiful shutters, upgraded appliances, counters, and cabinets. Now, that didn't really blend very well because we didn't say the kitchen is upgraded. So it kind of blended that together. So we might want to change that. The open concept living area, which this house does happen to have an open concept living area, but if it didn't, you might have to take that out, is perfect for entertaining guests with plenty of natural light flooding in from the large windows. Step outside your own private oasis where you'll find a beautiful pool, perfect for a refreshing swim or relaxing under the sun. The landscape backyard is an ideal place for hosting summer barbecues and enjoying the stunning mountain views. Located in the charming city of Boulder City, you'll enjoy a peaceful and serene setting with easy access to local shops, restaurants, and parks. This home is also just a short drive from the bright lights and excitement of Las Vegas. Now, we didn't tell it that. How cool is that? So it, understood, it understands the location between Boulder City and Las Vegas without it telling us. Don't miss out on the opportunity to own this beautiful property and experience the best in luxury living. Schedule your viewing today. This is really good. I don't like the interior of this home is elegantly designed with high-end finishes, featuring beautiful shutters, upgraded appliances, counters, and cabinets. So what I might say is separate counters, appliances, and cabinets into a portion about the large open kitchen with large island. Now I'm saying large and I'm not worrying about spelling. I'm hoping it's going to improve the words, even if I repeat large, 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 and it will catch the misspelling. So I'm gonna hit enter again. So sure, here's an updated listing description that focuses on the kitchen. So now in the, see that second paragraph, it says the heart of this home is a beautiful and spacious open concept kitchen with large island, which is funny, this is actually my house. This is funny because I always say the kitchen is the heart of the home. Perfect for entertaining guests. The kitchen features upgraded counters, appliances, and cabinets, providing a stylish and functional space for meal preparation and dining. Now it skips down to the interior of the home is elegantly designed with high-end finishes and beautiful shutters. The open concept living area is perfect for relaxing with family and friends with plenty of natural light flooding in from the large windows. I like that so much better. So tweaking this just a little bit is ideal. Now, another thing that I will tell you is when you're creating these listing descriptions, while ChatGPT does understand a lot about real estate and locations and, and these types of descriptions, sometimes it will put things in there that don't belong. So for one, I saw where it said mountain views by, okay, right here. The landscaped backyard is an ideal place for hosting summer barbecues and enjoying the stunning mountain views. You can't see mountain views from my backyard, although we do have beautiful mountain views in the neighborhood. The way my walls are so high around the pool, you cannot see the mountains. Therefore, I would need to take that out. So I would say take out stunning mountain views. Now let's just see what it does with that. Does it just chop it off? Does it add something else in? So there we go. So now this is, if we go down to, to the part, paragraph four, step outside your own private oasis where you'll find a beautiful pool, perfect for a refreshing swim or relaxing under the sun. The landscaped backyard is an ideal place for hosting summer barbecues. Okay, that's excellent. What if this is too long? So this would be good for a website. This would be good for a landing page. This would might be good for a flyer. This could be good for a classified ad. What if you need to shrink this down to fit into the MLS? If you know the number, well, I, I'm not 100% sure if it can will actually count the words. However, we can do something like this. Let's say shrink this down to one 
compelling paragraph. So here we go. Welcome to your dream home in the desirable Boulder Estate subdivision. This stunning single story house boasts three bedrooms plus a den, two and a half bathrooms and 2,223 square feet of luxurious living space. The heart of this home is a beautiful and spacious open concept kitchen with a large island, perfect for entertaining guests. The interior of the home is elegantly designed with high-end finishes and beautiful shutters, and the backyard is an ideal place for hosting summer barbecues with a beautiful pool. Located in the charming city of Boulder City, you'll enjoy a peaceful and serene setting with easy access to local shops, restaurants, and parks. This home is also just a short drive from the bright lights and excitement of Las Vegas. This is excellent. You can't even tell what was taken out. Again, if it's too long, say, make it shorter. You can keep doing that until it gets within the description size that you want. You also could say something like, make this the size of a tweet. It understands how long a tweet is. There you go. Luxury living at its finest, st stunning single story home in desirable Boulder City, Boulder States with three bedrooms plus two dens, two and a half bath, beautiful open concept kitchen, large island, high end finishes, shutters and a pool. Fantastic. As you can see, it's all about how and what you ask for. Sometimes when you're getting a listing description, let me see something like mention the owner's suite and see what it gives me. Okay, so now it's still, it's still trying to only give us the size of a tweet. Watch what we can do. We can actually go back to our prompts anywhere there's a pencil and edit the original prompt so that we get rid of all of the, that stuff afterwards that isn't what we want. So right here, can you help me create a listing description? We want to leave that in because we already gave it our information. But maybe we want to elaborate here. Okay, shutters and upgraded I'm going to put kitchen with appliances, counters, cabinets, large island, owner suite leading out to the pool. Now watch, when we click save and submit, all this stuff after that we're no longer needing because we're revising the prompt disappears. And that's really what you want. It's a best practice to go back and edit your prompts where you don't mind losing everything after it. Because what happens is ChatGPT reads everything up to, I don't remember how many words or tokens it is now. Let's just say a few thousand words. Reads all the way up. So the more you put in there, the more convoluted the responses could be. So let's see what this came up with now. As you enter the home, you'll be immediately struck by the elegant and modern design. The upgraded kitchen is a chef's dream featuring stainless steel appliances. We did not tell it we had stainless steel appliances. It got lucky there because I do. If I didn't, I would need to change that. Beautiful counters, and I, I should add granite. So I would just go add granite counters or go back and revise where the pencil is and add granite counters. Don't leave yet because I'm going to show you something really cool. As you enter the home, you'll be immediately struck by the elegant modern design. Upgraded kitchen is a chef's dream. Spacious owner suite leads out to the backyard oasis, complete with a sparkling pool and plenty of room for outdoor dining and lounging. Now, if it said master suite, and we know we can no longer use the term master suite, all you would have to do is type in remove master suite, call it owner's suite or primary bedroom, right? So th those are easy changes it'll make. Now, I love to do a couple of things after I create any kind of content with ChatGPT. I like to ask it how I can improve on what we created. How can I improve this listing description? Here are some suggestions for how you can improve it. One, highlight unique features. Two, use descriptive language. So instead of elegant, it's saying maybe you want to use modern. Provide more information about the location. 
So for example, I said it's in Boulder City. Well, maybe I should put it in Boulder City minutes from the golf course or minutes from the schools, the golf course, and the farmer's market. So I could go back in and do those. This says, if the home has an interesting backstory or historical significance, consider including a brief blurb about it in the listing description. So one thing I didn't do is I didn't mention that this was new construction. So as we're reading those little tips, we could go, oh, gosh, I didn't think about that. Did I put in, are there any energy features, energy star features? The appliances are Wi-Fi. There's a water softener. Those are some things that we could go back and mention here. Now, another thing that we could do is go back to our listing description, add granite counters, add water softener, add Wi-Fi to appliances, mention minutes from the golf course, mention new construction, I'll put mention builder storybook homes built in 2022. Now it'll add in these extra features. So it's enriching this listing description. Then when you want to shrink it down, it'll keep what it believes are the most important pieces. Now you can also say, Write the description again and make a list of bullet point features. And this would be ideal if you need to copy those bullet points over into a flyer, into a classified ad, or you just want to, a Facebook ad works really well with bullet points. And now you can choose which of those bullet points stay in there. You can also say something like, make this more creative. And it'll change the tone in how it writes the description. Now look, it's already saying crafted by Storybook Homes. It's getting more descriptive when you're using words like creative. We could say, make this sound more entertaining. Sure, here's a more entertaining listing. Ready? Get ready to fall in love with this show-stopping single-story home built by Storybook Homes in 2022 in the heart of Boulder City's prestigious Boulder State Subdivision. This isn't just any old house. It's a modern-day fairy tale come to life, complete with all the luxurious upgrades you could ever dream of. As you step into this enchanting home, you'll be blown away by the grandeur of the soaring ceilings and the abundance of natural light that floods the space. The kitchen is a chef's dream, equipped with the top-of-the-line Wi-Fi, connected appliances, exquisite granite countertops, and custom cabinets. Whip up a gourmet feast for family and friends with ease, thanks to the large island. So this got better, descriptive. Well, better depending on whose opinion it is. You could say... Make this sound more luxury. Now, my house isn't really a luxury home. It's a nice house, but it's not really a luxury home. So, But if it were, I would want to use words like prestigious, ex exquisite, high-end, masterpiece. I would want to mention things if there's a uh, fancy tile or some kind of... Everything has names that I want to describe specifically. Now, the, my pool is very high-end. I could could get more specific about how the pool was made and the water features if I want to point that out. Put more emphasis on the pool. Blue, I'm going to put ozone filter, water features, separate Hot tub with six powerful jets. Cabo shelf. Pebble tech. Now let's see what it does. The sparkling pool to centerpiece of this backyard paradise, complete with the ozone filter system. 
that ensures crystal clear <laughs> water at all times. That was Gabe. Water features and a cabana shelf add a touch of elegance while the Pebble Tech finish provides a smooth, luxurious feel. Now, so you're seeing how we're prompted this. There is another really cool thing you could do. Let's just say, I'm going to go to my own website and I'm going to, I'm going to pick a listing. We're going to pretend, we're going to pretend that this is my listing. I just want to show you something else that we can do here. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. Let's go with this one. Let's say you have your listing information on a digital format somehow, or let's say you maybe are using, you're relisting a property. So this wasn't your list. This is your listing now. It wasn't before. You're looking at content that you didn't create, but you can still use it. So what you can do is you can actually take the information from a listing as far as you want to go down. I'll just start from there. Copy that and you can feed it into ChatGPT. This is one of my favorite uses of ChatGPT. So go back up here to the top and say, write a listing description using this text. And I'm going to paste that in. And now I'm going to click Save and Submit. Now it's actually pulling the factual data, well, as factual as the previous agent typed in there. And now you're getting a much more detailed, okay, now look, they even included the upcoming open house. Obviously you're gonna edit that out. And if you wanted to, now we could add in more information. So let's do something like this. We'll go all the way down to let's wait on the schools and we'll just start right here. All we're doing is just giving it more data. This could come from the MLS. This could come from the tax records. Add this information. So now it knows it's gated. It knows it's a single family home. It now knows it was built by Woodside. This takes all the guesswork out of everything you're doing and it's not going to come out as plagiarized content. What we did is we used the text to feed data to ChatGPT. We're not actually taking the word for word verbiage on the page. Now I could say make a list of bullet point features or I could say describe the neighborhood in more detail. This by the time we're done, this could be a thousand word blog post easily. It could be 1500 words. It could be 2000 words. Don't just think MLS description. you look at this laundry room on the second floor with washer and dryer, energy efficient with low and low e windows, desert landscaping, backyard covered patio. Then I could say, make a paragraph that just describes the exterior features. So now it's only describing those. So you could easily create an article format with headers, subheaders like H2s and H3s or separate bullet points. You could describe the schools. We didn't put in the schools, but if you wanted to, let's see how well it does with those abbreviations though. I haven't tested that. Tell me about the schools. So the only thing that I would want to make sure of is, for example, the elementary school is actually called Shelley Berkeley. And they called it attend the Berkeley Shelley Elementary School. So I would just say change it to Shelley Berkeley. And then it would rewrite it. So keep in mind as you're going through this that ChatGPT may add in data that isn't accurate. 
because it's guessing or it's using data that it pulled from somewhere else or it's just kind of putting in placeholders. So as you're going through, this is why I like to create in portions rather than a long form article because then I can just double check the text that we gave it since this isn't my, I don't know this listing right now that we're actually working off of. I would just want to double check that it's going off of there and not adding anything in here. So see, it didn't mention anything about sixth to eighth grade, but here it says for students in grades six to eight, they attend either Face, Wilbur, or Teresa Junior High School. Oh, that would be correct. That would be correct. But I'm going to double check it all and just make sure. And then if I wanted to at the end, I could say, put this all together in a blog format. Use Markdown. Markdown is what actually creates the headings. I've tried use H2s, use H3s, use headers. It doesn't respond well. But anytime I say use Markdown, it knows that we need to have this in that Markdown format like a like a typical blog would have. So there you go. Look at that. So now we have the title. We have an intro. We have features. Now it's describing the interior. Then it's going to describe the exterior. It's going to describe the schools. So all you have to do is feed it the data first from whatever sources you want to feed it from. Then it will give it back to you in original content, your words. As a matter of fact, just for the sake of it, let's do a really quick, let's do a really quick plagiarism check. So we'll take what we did here. And it didn't finish. That's okay. We'll, we would normally tell it to finish. Let's go ahead and paste it into Grammarly. And then I'm going to run a plagiarism check real quick. Okay, it says 11% plagiarism, but that doesn't actually mean it's plagiarism. I'll show you why. So the first thing we want to do is look at where it says what percent matches. And as you can see here, experience luxury living at its finest in this stunning well that's just a sentence that's been used a gazillion times it doesn't mean that it's plagiarized anywhere just it's being picked up in other descriptions if you want to change it and you don't like it change it now here's another one as soon as you enter you'll be greeted by obviously that's not plagiarism here's another one includes core subjects such as english math science and social studies as well as they're telling you what those school what that school includes i don't actually know that the school includes that curriculum so i may take that out anyway here's another one where it's not even in the same state this description so clearly there's actually no plagiarism it's just how these plagiarism plagiarism checkers detects it says fragments from sources so you were looking and seeing is that direct plagiarism on this property and there isn't any if you don't want it to have any just go in and revise these so instead of experience luxury living at its finest you could say luxury real estate you could say step into whatever you want to change it to i don't worry about those kinds of things myself those are those are pretty minor but if you want to you absolutely can so i hope that's helpful today i dived in a little bit deeper maybe than what you're going to see in other places because i really want you to get the understanding of these prompts and how to use chat gpt to get the ba best output i'm Lori ballon in las vegas for your referrals and i thank you so much for joining me today